Jamaican stories that will have you wondering why people so wicked. The Effortville Saga. Part 2. She told her friend that her daughter sick and is on the brink of being unalive. Her friend told her to take her to her daughter. When the friend saw Sharon, she said to the mother, You know, say, I know doctor sickness this. You know, say, them be a your picnic. The friend told the mother she had to carry Sharon to a reader woman. The next day, they lifted Sharon into their car and took her to a church. When the car arrived, a woman ran out aggressively and told them not to enter her church. The woman took Sharon for three days and told them who did it. The woman told them that the reason why Sharon didn't get on alive instantly is because it catch Shane first. The wicked woman threw some powder at Sharon and Shane's doorway, but a Shane first step over it. Sharon was eventually healed of her afflictions and is now living overseas. She even lived to see the wicked woman calling and begging her money. Shane was also healed. He didn't end up doing the operation because the lady told him that if they cut him, that will be the end of him. Sharon broke up with Shane when everything was confirmed, but they remained friends. The wicked woman got very sick and is no longer alive. Sharon's mother left her to God and her karma. The twins live with their mother in Maypen. She eventually brought Shane to court, did a DNA test and it proved that he is the father and he has to pay child support. Join our Duppy Story Live every Saturday at 8.